What's up guys, it's Jboy here and today I'm talking about the new uh, customization packs coming to the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4 and PC. Uh, these include the um, new uh, gun customization um, camos and also the return of some of the very memorable characters which I'll be talking about in this video. Now as you can see here on the screen you can see the circuit camo. This is supposed to look like a sort of like a circuit board thing and as you can see it here on I believe that's a honey badger. It's um, a blue camo which is supposed to look a bit like a circuit. As you can see on screen again now, you're looking at the ducky camo. This is basically a duck pasted all over a um, gun with a nice blue texture behind it. And as you can see again on the honey badger, it is a, um interesting one. I don't particularly like the reticule. It's not very accurate, but hey, it's all good. As you can see on screen now, there is the Inferno camo. This is basically flames all over a um, all over a gun, and the reticule is a sort of flickered flame. It's actually quite nice. I also quite like the look of the player patch. Also here is um, the Space Cats camo. As you can see on screen now, this is basically cats pasted all around the um, all around the gun. Sorry, and I actually quite like the reticule. I was running on the fad earlier, and it was actually going quite well. I also do run the um, player background and I know people who run the player patch and it actually looks quite cool now I believe that's all of the camos that are coming that came to the guns I'm now going to be talking about the um, actual characters for the um, like different outfits you'll also be able to get um, you'll also be able to get outfits for your squad members with outfits based on some of the characters from the Call of Duty Go single player campaign and also some out of the some memorable characters out of the modern warfare campaign to remember so here you got Elias, I can't pronounce, can't remember how to pronounce his name because I never actually played the campaign. But um, Elias or something like that, it's pretty it's basically got the ghost mask on and he's um, holding the honey badger here with a nice headset on his head. Now, um, the second one on screen here now is Hesh. He's returned, I believe he was in the Modern Warfare 3 campaign and also I believe sometime in the Ghost campaign. And um, another one here, Keegan, I believe he was in the Ghost campaign, as you can see he's got the ghost mask on. With them four, which look like sort of binocular sort of glasses on, and um, some clips and um, some clips and stuff all over him, and he's obviously holding the honey badger there. And also you can see, you can see Merrick, and I believe he was off a Modern Warfare series. I'm not sure, but I know he was certainly in the Ghost series. So yeah, there's Merrick, and um, here's one that was a lot of um, sort of like hype about. It was. Um, Captain Price from the Modern Warfare series makes a return as a playable multiplayer character, along with a brand new personalizational pack including weapon camo patch, reticule, and player background. The Captain Price legendary pack will only cost four dollars in the online store. So as you can see here, there was a sort of a meme saying "Brace yourselves, Price is coming." This was leaked pre to uh, prior to the actual release of the um, customizational packs. And this sort of got everyone sort of thinking what's actually going to be happening here. And it turned out there was a return of Price in the uh, customizational form. You also got the Captain Price weapon camo, player patch, player card, reticule, and player background, which was very cool. Something else they brought was a bonus, was additional slot loadouts. It means you can now take up to uh, 10, uh, 10 loadouts sorry, in each character, which is... um. Very helpful for people who can't really make their mind up on which classes to run. They can also experiment with an extra four now. So yeah, that's been the personalizational pack. This has also been Jable here. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other videos. I've got a top five most embarrassing plays of the 48 hour live stream for charity. That was good. That was um quite funny. So yeah, guys, this has been Jable here, signing out.